Nominations for the 93rd Academy Awards announced this morning included some familiar names in movies, but a lot of movie fans, this whole list is a lot of unknowns. Take a look. Ready? Ready. The Father, David Parfit, Jean-Louis Levy, and Philippe Carcassonne, producers. Judas and the Black Messiah, Shaka King, Charles D. King, and Ryan Coogler, producers. Husband and wife combo Nick Jonas and mm. Priyanka Chopra reading the nominees. They also broke news about the diverse group of films nominated. By the way, I need to get a gold suit like that, huh, Nice jewel, jewel tones. I mean, that's really, that's really something. Look at the two of them. All right, so uh, one question a lot of movie fans are wondering, what are these movies about? Have you heard about them? Let's bring in film critic Gray Drake, um, who we hope can hear us as we have technical problems tonight. Uh, your th quick thoughts on, on Oscar nominees and what are the movies that we need to see? Gray, can you hear us? I got you right now. And let me just say, I don't know what you asked, but I'm going to respond with Promising Young Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, tell us about Promising Young Woman and tell us about the, 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 the two other movies that we need to see. Yeah, so Promising Young Woman is definitely the f fan favorite. I, I guarantee you it is a story about revenge. Carrie Mulligan nominated for her performance and she wears a spectacular wig in it. And for anyone who's into it, a nurse uniform. Mm. Okay, and where can we watch that? Uh, we, that's available for rent. Uh, I would definitely recommend you shelling out your hard-earned dollars for that one because it's not really an awards movie. It's super fun. As compared to some of the awards movies, which are not super fun, uh, let's talk <laughs> about uh, Minari, a, a movie that's really breaking ground when it comes to diversity in the Academy Awards. Absolutely, both literally and literally within the film, because this is a movie about immigrants, right? So a Korean family comes to rural Arkansas in the 80s, and they make the American dream happen for them. Uh, Steven Yeun is incredible in the film, but also this whole cast, they're nominated for a reason, and you're going to watch this and feel inspired and feel like our future is really bright. Oh, we need that right now, too. And your third pick, Sound of Metal. This one you guys have to check out because Riz Ahmed, who we know from plenty of HBO shows and he was in a Star Wars movie, he's all over the place. He plays a heavy metal drummer who unfortunately ends up losing his hearing because he didn't know to protect himself and he suffers from adult onset deafness. And this movie is the sound design is spectacular. Mm. It's going to teach you about a community you might not have known anything about. And you got to watch Riz Ahmed drum his heart out. It's very exciting. You know, there are so many options right now when it comes to streaming because we're watching these not on big screens. Hopefully soon we will be watching them on big screens. But you got the choice of Succession or Schitt's Creek or Ted Lasso or all these other great shows, all the documentaries that are out right now that meet people the have chimps. the choice to meet, uh, meet the chimps. So are these worth watching over those? I mean, because it's hard right now maybe to find an audience in, in all of that crowded space. I know you're asking me because I'm a critic and you're expecting me to tell you these are some of these are terrible choices, but what I'll say is instead, this is a world for audiences, right? Like whatever you're into, you're going to find. And so the movies that I've mentioned, I think some of the more niche picks that are most unlike other years previously. And what I will say is for everybody who likes to sit down and binge watch an entire series, don't forget that's in the neighborhood of maybe five hours or more. Hmm. Right. And, and diversity was a big winner, though, overall today. Absolutely. This was a fantastic year to see all kinds of records made all over the place. We have two women in nominated in the director's category. We have Chadwick Boseman's posthumous Oscar nomination. And we have plenty of different kinds of movies made by different groups of people telling different stories, which means that we're headed in the right direction. We have more work to do, but... I'm giving a thumbs up for this year and a keep going for next. Well, speaking of different, so if you usually tune in to CBS on Sunday nights at 7, you hear, I'm Scott Pelley. And you, you have a very, you know, Not stoic uh, 60 minutes that's usually in that place. Last night, you got Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion talking about WAP. 
look that up if you want to know more about that. Uh, it was you know, evocative of, of a stripper background. What did you make of that? What did you make of that moment also on, on the normally sort of, you know, uh, traditional CBS? You know what? History was being made, and actually, herstory, because mm. plenty of people had a lot to say about that performance on either end of the spectrum, but they were saying the same things about Elvis all those decades ago. Mm. I think it's great that people are talking, and those performances were way better than oh, <laughs> uh, It wouldn't surprise me. You got up and danced, didn't you? Girl, I was already dancing before it even started. <laughs> yeah. Well, Gray, it's always great to see you. I didn't know what color you would bring today, so uh, we're appreciating the, the red, the red shade. I was, I was thinking pink, but uh, it's nice, uh, nice to have you back with it's us. And, of course, you can check out Gray's uh, movie reviews and connect with her in social media as well uh, for more fun from Gray Drake. Good to see you, Drake. The, the red's for the red tier. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the red tier. <laughs> now you can go to movies. Look at that. It's all coming together. Look at, the, look at what we get with Marla Tejas as part of the show. Show. 